All right, Yins guys, we're going to do a video here today. If the wind doesn't knock over this camera. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to show you the basic idea of this type of stretch. See, once you're able to do like what I showed you in my other videos, all the basic stretches, be able to put your foot up here and go like this, right? Um, I want to show you like the next step of being able to like put your foot up here with no hands. I want to show you like how to just hang on stuff, whether you, no matter how you have your feet, to eventually just. We're going to talk about just how you just hang on stuff, get comfortable with, say the. Unlike the way other people do it with their little gym shoes and their gym shorts and their yoga pants or whatever. I'm more geared to uh, any other places that, just like you guys, you may have worked in particular places where you got to climb around anyway and put your foot up on stuff. You can train a little bit differently in a lot of unorthodox ways, including ways that other people say is weird and wrong. And um, I wouldn't do entire lectures on that, but getting right to it, like the other times I show you, I could about grabbing your foot and being eventually able to go like this. You can also uh, be able to swing your foot around, have your foot on the floor real good, hang like this, and be able to take your foot. Once you have developed the flexibility, you can go with, like, say, no hands. Kick your foot up with no hands. Get used to doing that to kind of measure up how far you can bring your foot up without... Uh, actually uh, grabbing it like this. Not all of us are able to just take our foot and just put it like a bear like some people do, like depending on what people do with the cheerleading or martial arts, they could kick their foot way up real nice for them. Not all of us are able to do that, but that doesn't mean we can't be more flexible than we are and do what other people claim is impossible or weird and be able to do better than somebody else. Don't let it discourage you that you can't uh, be Bruce Lee or Jackie Chan or you're a girl like you can't do what that cheerleader or that female martial artist can't do. Do it for you, something that's, if it makes you better than where you was, that's all that counts, you know what I mean? And, and it, it, it'll piss people off, you know what I mean? But, but eventually, you know, you just be able to hang on stuff and strengthen that grip, get the arm used to actually hang in there. Like um, way more importance in, I stress way more importance in gripping on the things. Unlike, unlike other people, how they train for whatever purposes. Um, for mine pretty much stems from being the most important to be able to take advantage of whatever you're holding on to and have that grip going. Because uh, in different occupations I have been, on kind of different scaffolding, painting stuff, having to climb up on stuff. And uh, having the advantage over somebody else, being less afraid of going up on something. And uh, some of this was uh, stemming from different kind of occupations that I had where a work agency sent me to different places where I'd spend a lot of truck time not being able to do any work uh, waiting for the truck to come so they didn't care what I did I had all the extra floor and bored out of my mind didn't have no music with me and some places you can have uh, your phone and listen to music for a certain extent but something to damn do or other people go outside and smoke or whatever the hell so I worked in a place where uh, part of my, the only people that care about that shit or about my life story, so to speak, would be my followers that have been on uh, following my stuff from the very beginning. But yes, uh, a lot of you guys, a lot of this or what I'm doing comes from a lot of occupations I worked damn wind. Uh, like I worked at a place uh, waiting for the truck to come, and then right after the truck comes, uh, unloading a truck for about an hour, two hours, maybe three if I'm lucky, or four. 
or not even a whole, you don't even know you're getting a whole day or whatever. And it's like, oh, you're done. You can go, you know, think shit like that. And um, on lunch break, any kind of outside work where you're handling uh, uh, heavy metal tools, you know, some of my other workouts that are not the stretching workouts. I wanted to kind of slip that in for you. Uh, some of you guys have been following me. That's why I do a lot of what I do. And that's why I am kind of have a difference of opinion about the last place I worked, even though I crossed some lines and influenced uh, some people uh, to look the other way with little payments and gifts like to man the camera or to look the other way, so to speak. But wanted to show you guys what you can do if you take advantage of an open space. But by all means, don't get fired from a job so you're making over minimum wage. It ain't worth it. What I want to advocate too is doing like stuff like this. You have an area where you can't get in trouble. Or I don't care if it's in an alley or some kind of things where there's chain link fences around. That's what I'm trying to advocate. I'll maybe do more talk videos like that later. But it involves in the more you can not just be flexible, but be able to hang, say, with one hand. Uh, you want to be comfortable and without fear, too. You know what I mean? You can readjust this at any time. You can just hang around like this. Pull a foot up. Put it over this way. Over this way. Hold. Try to hold it there. Use this one hand. Bring this one hand out. Um, for making this into random talk, I'm not always uh, set up to do an entire articulate speech I'm trying to give you the gist of it. Or don't be afraid to just encourage yourself. Don't just be flexible. If you're a guy or a girl just trying to be karate man or trying to be a girl trying to be that cheerleader or the, that uh, video game hero martial artist. Um, for looks, this is also functional too because it's uh, my way involves a lot emphasizing on gripping things. Like, and that grip can be way more important than the flexibility, and it enhances the flexibility too, you know what I mean? But, uh, so I'm always looking for. When your inflexibility increases, grab on something like that. And this is something that's more challenging. It's, uh, you might start trying to do this and say, oh, no way. Well, even with some of the basic stretching you can find on YouTube, people who are better than me, um, I'm trying to give you better prerequisites of how I have got where I am. But a lot of people out there say in certain places, like, like I said, where that's where you work, some people look the other way and don't care, but then you'll get a shit starter. It's all jealous or some kind of way, and all of a sudden imposed the bureaucratic rules like in the books just because they're pissed off or whatever. You'd be quite surprised, even if you do things outside of a workplace and you don't try to use the workplace before or during one time at the clock to do any of your things. A lot of times people find out that you're doing something better than them or something. Like say you don't want to be a cookie cutter uh, out there and work, go around uh, just to make babies, drive an SUV, live on credit, or be the person that walk around with a big belly, uh, drive an SUV, just walking like this, or, or be one of those people that uh, you're in some workplace, they want you to uh, 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 be jerking your back around all working hard. Uh, and some workplaces are designed just to break you. And then if you're, they find out you're doing something else to overcome, and you're doing shit like this, and uh, able to gracefully do your job with, uh, without the overrated and over-exaggerated, the over-exaggerated virtue. Busting your ass.
you don't have to bust your ass. You work gracefully, and you can do the same thing busting your ass. Then if you have to bust ass, you can be a notch better. But in some places, they want to break you, too, and they just turn up the heat of it. They think uh, you try to do your job, and you're just, quote, being smart, so to speak, you know. Um, then, you know, you like I said, don't get... Uh, don't risk it if you have some better pay and job or something like that. But yeah, like know your rights, but don't risk losing the better pay and job. Find another place to train. Like I don't care if it's an alley, some kind of area where it's an open space, alley, parking lot with a chain link fence. Because uh, that's what that's what I'm all about. I believe uh, places are just trying to break you. And. Uh, it, yeah, they'll tolerate, oh, you go in the gym with some kind of fancy shirt and shoes, like for show, go to Planet Fitness, and use those uh, overrated, overexpensive machinery that if you own, and you either have not enough room in your house or you don't have a lot of money on a credit card to buy it or finance the thing and be paying it on it until you're gray hair and eventually uh, walking around with a cane, so to speak, by doing paying shit off. But like I said, it's uh, stuff like this I can go on. It's considered to be not normal or uh, or dangerous. I do, I do uh, speeches and lectures. More to come on that, too. They want to make everything dangerous. And uh, if you're a guy, unless you take something uh, professionally some kind of way, and some people have something to say about that, either unmanly some kind of way, wrong, uh, weird, dangerous, uh, especially if you're not uh, doing what's the social norm, you know, live on credit, drive some car, yes, SUV. This is about making time in, uh, in a society where even if you want to go to a gym, there's not even enough of time. If you, any of you guys that follow me just... Uh, made it this far in this boring ass video that's what it's all about I think I'll make a video all over again uh, but uh, that's the basic uh, idea what I'm projecting here and try not to go into a long ass uh, sermon this was actually supposed to be a video about nothing but basically hanging on the objects but uh, this was supposed to be a speech for later, but uh, it relates, believe me. But uh, I guess because I started talking about uh, any items that are around you, I don't care where you're at, use it. And if somebody says you can't go somewhere else doing it, they ain't going to stop you. Nobody's going to go try to break you or shame you out of anything. Or uh, They might even try to say, uh, you're not supposed to be here. This is public property, uh, an alley outside or the back of your damn place where you live. If somebody has a problem with that, they might have a problem with that, too, you know. Unless you uh, create some kind of ballet stretching bar in your apartment or house some kind of a way. But, yeah, you can use walls, uh, anything you can, an alley, chain link fence. Uh, but, yeah, you get the basic idea.